Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn Nursing Easy. If you are the first time watching my video, please like, share, subscribe and click the notification button and stay tuned. Today let us see a nursing care plan on pneumonia. Pneumonia is a condition where there is infection and inflammation of the lungs which can be caused due to an invasion of microorganism or any aspiration of gastric contents that can cause injury and inflammation to the lungs. So when patient is having uh, inflammation of the respiratory tract there will be increased production of poor lens sputum which can block the airway so i made a diagnosis ineffective airway clearance related to the presence of excessive secretion second to inflammation and infection of lungs our goal is to maintain a patent airway in intervention we will be assessing the airway for any obstruction and presence of secretion so that based on that we can provide the Intervention and vital signs and saturation are monitored so that we can identify the severity of the respiratory disturbance and we can provide interventions. And Fowler's position is given in order to aid in breathing and also prevent aspiration of secretions. And we can do gentle measures in order to open the airway. Oxygen therapy is administered in order to prevent shortness of breath. And we have to provide warm liquids in order to liquefy the secretion and prevent dehydration oral care is given in order to prevent bad odors and remove secretions from the throat and postural drainage is done in order to remove the secretions from the bronchopulmonary segments and we have to teach deep breathing and cuffing exercises and advise the client to do those uh, exercises so that it can open the airway and relieve secretions and we have to provide chest physiotherapy like percussion and vibration therapy. So this will mobilize the secretion from the lower respiratory tract and it can be removed from suctioning. And provide a nebulizer therapy with diolin and livolin. So this will open the airway and relieve secretions. And mucolytics and expectorants can be given in order to remove the secretions. Bronchodilators are given in order to dilate the bronchus and open the airway. And antibiotics or antiviral and antifungal drugs are given according to the cultural sensitivity report in order to treat the pneumonia in evaluation you have to see whether the client's airway was patent and when patient is having obstructed airway there can be problem with gas exchange so i made a diagnosis impaired gas exchange related to inflamed and blocked airways second to collection of mucus in the respiratory tract our goal is to maintain a normal gas exchange in intervention you will be assessing the vital signs mental status examination changes in color of skin and mucous membrane so this will help to identify the baseline data to start intervention and we have to monitor ecg and pulse oximetry continuously so that we can identify the oxygenation and provide therapy we have to provide comfortable semi foulers or high foulers position so this will aid in breathing and oxygen therapy with CPAP or if needed you can intubate and ventilate the client so this will meet the oxygen needs and suctioning should be done in order to remove the secretions and improve gas exchange and nebulizer therapy is given in order to open the airways and also to improve oxygenation to the lungs and we have to tell the client to drink plenty of warm water and also administer IV fluids in order to liquefy the secretions and also hydrate the client and tell the client to take adequate rest because rest decreases the oxygen demands and prevent exertion thereby help in breathing. I have to advise to do deep breathing and coughing exercise and advise the client to do spirometry exercises. So this will help the client to effectively cough and remove secretions thereby gas exchange can be improved. And cough medications should be given in order to remove the secretions. Antibiotics are given in order to treat the pneumonia infection and improve the gas exchange. And prepare and assist the client in thoracentesis procedure if there is any pleural effusion which is compressing the lungs. So in evaluation you have to see whether the gas exchange of the client was improved. And next patients with uh, pneumonia they will have problems with breathing so I made a diagnosis ineffective breathing pattern related to decreased lung expansion secondary to inflamed alveolar membrane blocking the airways our goal is to maintain a normal breathing pattern so intervention will be monitoring the vital signs and respiratory pattern of the client regularly so this helps to identify the baseline data to start intervention and monitor ECG and pulse oximetry levels so this will help to identify the oxygenation of the blood and semi foulers or high foulers position is given in order to aid in breathing and adequate ventilation of the room is given in order to improve cross ventilation and also provide oxygenation thereby it will prevent suffocation oxygen therapy is given in order to improve the breathing pattern 
and suctioning and nebulizer therapy is given in order to open the airway and improve the breathing and stimulation prostrel drainage is given in order to prevent blockage in the airways and remove the secretion and tell the client to drink plenty of water in order to liquefy and remove the secretions and provide patent airway to breathe and deep breathing and cuffing exercises pyrometric exercises are taught in order to open the airway and prevent blockage of the airways to provide adequate nutrition with small frequent feeds and also take more of liquid diet so this will improve energy and aid in breathing and cuff medications can be given in order to remove the secretions and improve the breathing pattern and bronchodilators are given in order to dilate the bronchus and improve the breathing antibiotic is given in order to treat the pneumonia and improve breathing pattern and thoracentesis procedure can be done in order to compression of the lungs and improve the breathing of the client in evaluation you have to see whether the client's breathing pattern was improved next clients with pneumonia due to the infection and inflammatory process there will be pleuritic chest pain so i made a diagnosis acute pleuritic pain related to inflammatory reaction of the alveoli secondary to invasion of microorganism our goal is to relieve the pain in intervention you will be assessing vital signs and pulse oximetry levels and pain score regularly so that according to the severity of pain we can provide intervention and comfortable position is given in order to aid in breathing oxygen therapy is given in order to aid in respiration and relieve breathing difficulty and analgesics are given in order to treat pain and nebulizer therapy to open airway and ease the breathing you have to prepare and assist the client for thoracentesis procedure so this will decompress the pleural space and he provide enough space for breathing thereby pleuritic chest pain can be relieved and comfortable bed rest should be given and you have to teach firstly breathing exercises so this will relieve the pain and tell the client to splint the chest while coughing or sneezing so this will decrease the pain and calm quiet environment should be provided and relaxation strategy should be taught so this will provide comfort and relieve stress and anxiety and diversional therapy should be given in order to relieve the pain and bronchodilators are given to dilate the bronchus and aid in breathing thereby pain can be relieved and antibiotics or antivirals or antifungal is given in order to treat the infection and thereby relieve the pain client to drink plenty of warm liquids so this will liquefy and expectorate the secretion so that client will have ease in breathing so in evaluation you have to see whether the client's pain was relieved can next patients with pneumonia due to the infection and inflammation there will be high temperatures made a diagnosis hyperthermia related to the infectious process secondary to invasion of microorganism our goal is to maintain a normal body temperature so in intervention you will be monitoring the vital signs regularly so this will identify the temperature and thereby we can provide intervention and cold compress or tepid sponging is given according to the degree of temperature so this will decrease the body temperature the cross ventilation of the room is done by opening the windows and doors so this will promote heat loss and we have to tell the client to drink plenty of liquid so this will reduce the body temperature and cool humidified oxygen is given in order to prevent dryness of the mouth and also decrease the temperature and we have to tell the client to take liquid and soft solid or bland diet so this will decrease the metabolism and also decrease the body temperature oral hygiene is given and tell the client to rinse the mouth regularly so this will prevent oral infection and also bad odors in the mouth okay antipyretics like paracetamol is given in order to treat fever and any procedure is done we have to follow strict uh, hygienic measures in order to prevent infection we have to tell the client to take adequate bed rest and drink plenty of water and administer IV fluids as prescribed so this will decrease the basal metabolism and also promote heat loss and nebulizer therapy and intermittent suctioning is done in order to remove secretions thereby it will prevent uh, infection in the oral cavity the deep breathing coughing and spirometry exercise are taught and I advise the client to practice them in order to expectorate the secretion and prevent infection and postural drainage steam inhalation and chest physiotherapy is done in order to remove secretions thereby prevent infection and since the antibiotics antiviral or antifungal drugs are given in order to treat the infection and relieve fever you have to monitor the electrolytes and replace the electrolytes as needed if the client has sweating and there will be electrolyte loss in evaluation you have to see whether the client's temperature returned to 
normal next patients with pneumonia due to the infection and also due to nebulizer therapy there is dryness in the oral cavity and also bad odors and taste in the mouth so patient may not take nutrition properly so i made a diagnosis imbalanced nutrition less than body requirement related to dyspnea and inability to intake foods or distress secondary to the infection and aerosol therapy our goal is to maintain a normal nutritional pattern so in intervention we'll be assessing the nutritional status and nutritional needs of the client so based on that we can provide intervention and weight bmi io chart is checked in order to identify the nutritional deficiency and plan intervention so the client's ability to tolerate feeds and provide small and frequent feeds so this will help in easy metabolism and improve the nutrition oral hygiene is given before taking food so that it will prevent bad odors in the mouth and thereby help in taking oral foods and tell the client to drink plenty of water and administer iv fluids in order to prevent dehydration tell the client to take soft solid diet until the breathing pattern returns to normal so this will prevent dyspnea and also meet the nutritional needs of the client to provide foods according to the likes and dislikes of the patient so this will improve satiety and also the nutritional status of the client and ng tube is inserted if the client cannot take oral feeds so that nutritional needs can be met and we have to schedule the respiratory therapies like nebulizer chest with air therapy and suctioning one hour before meal so that during meals patient will not have nausea and vomiting I advise the client to avoid milk and dairy products because milk will induce more secretions and patient can have more blocked airways and monitor and replete electrolytes if there is electrolyte imbalance and antihemetic should be given if the patient is having nausea and vomiting multivitamin supplements are given in order to supplement the nutritional needs of the client and nsaids and antimicrobials are administered in order to treat pneumonia and also improve the nutritional status of the client in evaluation you have to see whether the client's nutritional status was improved and next patients with pneumonia will have problems in performing activities i made a diagnosis activity intolerance related to dyspnea and increased oxygen demand secondary to obstruction of airways our goal is to help the client to gain activity tolerance intervention you will be assessing the client's ability to perform activities so according to the client's uh, tolerance level we can provide intervention we have to provide complete bed rest in the acute phase that is when the client is dyspneic and meet all the activity needs at the bedside so this will meet the activity needs of the client and oxygen therapy should be administered especially during activity so this will meet the oxygen demands of the body and aid in activity tolerance and respiratory exercise should be taught and advise the client to practice them so this will help to gain activity tolerance the adequate nutrition is provided and we have to give small and frequent feeds so this will gain energy to perform activity and mild range of motion exercises can be taught when the client is not dyspneic so this will improve the activity tolerance all self care activities and hygienic needs should be met at the bedside of the client and all articles should be kept at the reach of the client okay multivitamin supplements and electrolyte replacement should be done in order to gain energy to do activity and all medication should be administered as indicated so this will treat the pneumonia infection and thereby gain activity tolerance we should not leave the client alone and if needed call bell can be given so that client can call for assistance in order to meet the activity needs to schedule the activity and rest periods adequately so that is after meals we have to tell the client to perform mild activity so this can gain tolerance to activity if the client is bedridden you have to change position every two hourly and provide active passive exercises on the bed and gradually help the client in ambulation so this will help to gain activity tolerance in evaluation you have to see whether the client's activity tolerance was gained can final diagnosis is deficient knowledge regarding the disease condition its prognosis and therapeutic management our goal is to provide knowledge intervention we will be assessing the client's ability to understand instructions and in their own language we have to provide instructions and advise the client to take adequate rest and sleep and you have to tell the client to drink plenty of liquids and keep hydrated advise the client to take soft solid diet and easily digestible foods and avoid spicy and oily foods in order to prevent regurgitation and tell the client to strictly avoid alcohol and smoking in order to 
prevent further pneumonia infection. Advise the client to do oral hygiene three times a day and rinse the mouth regularly and especially after aerosol therapy. So this will prevent dryness or and bad orders in the mouth. If the client is going home with a nebulizer or inhaler therapy, you have to demonstrate how to use the inhalers and nebulizers and also teach deep breathing, coughing and spirometry exercise and advise the client to practice them regularly. So this will aid in respiration and prevent dyspnea and teach about disease conditions so that client can gain knowledge on disease condition and tell the client to get vaccinated against pneumococcal flu vaccine and COVID shield so this will prevent further respiratory infection so teach the client about the pharmacological therapy so the client can gain knowledge on medications and take the drugs as prescribed advise the client to have a cool humidifier in the room so that it can eliminate the dry air from the environment and prevent infection and tell the client to wash hands regularly and use mask while going outdoors so this will prevent cross infection Okay, advise the client to come for regular follow-up services so this will help in complete recovery and prevent complications and provide booklet regarding treatment and management of pneumonia so the client can book, read the booklet and follow instructions at home in evaluation you have to see whether client gained knowledge i hope you have understood my class thank you for listening please like share subscribe and click the notification button and stay tuned